Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Kriska Yoga. In today's video, we'll be doing a gentle morning yoga sequence. This sequence is great for waking up in the morning. It stretches your body out, gets you active, wakes you up, and it's just a great thing to do in the morning before you start your day. You won't be needing any props for this one. It's great for beginners, but it's also great for all levels, anyone looking to get a nice, gentle morning yoga sequence. Before we get started, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I post two free yoga classes on this channel every single week. It is completely free to subscribe and I would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. So we're going to begin on the ground. Cross your shins, flex your feet underneath your knees. Sit up tall on the two sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis. Bring your hands to your legs. Close your eyes, sit up tall, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Do that one more time. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Slowly come to open your eyes. And we're going to roll our head around to the right. Drop your chin to your chest. And then begin to circle your neck around, bringing your right ear to your right shoulder, looking up, left ear to left shoulder, and then dropping the chin to the chest once again. Repeat this circle several times, keeping the rest of the body stable. Gently stretching the muscles in your neck. You can keep your eyes closed if you would like to, or you can keep them open. It's up to you. You should do this about four to five times. So let's have one more circle here. And then we'll rotate around to the left. Left ear to left shoulder, look up. Right ear to right shoulder and chin to chest. Slow and smooth movements as you're circling your head around. And once again, be sure that you're keeping the rest of your body nice and stable. Let's say we'll do about two more here. Nice and slow, gently stretching the muscles in your neck. And just drop your chin to your chest for a moment. Feel the back of the neck stretching. Slowly look up. And then for a moment, drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Take your right arm, wrap it over the top of your head and gently pull the head to the right. Very light touch, I'm not pulling really. Just gently having the pressure of my hand resting on my head as I stretch the left side of my neck. So I'm really not forcing at all. Just breathe here. And then slowly bring the head back up and we'll switch sides. Drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Wrap the left arm over the top of the head. Allow the weight of your hand to gently take your head over to the left. Stretching the right side of the neck, breathing deeply. Slowly release. Take your right arm, reach it out, and then reach it all the way up. Bend the elbow. And you're going to grab hold of the elbow behind your head. And gently pull the elbow in towards the center line of your body. Stretching the tricep and the upper back a little bit. Breathing here, we're still sitting up tall on our two sits bones. Slowly release the elbow and switch sides. Take hold of the opposite elbow, holding your left elbow in your right hand. 
Breathing here, stretching the left tricep muscle. And release your elbow from your hand. We're going to come to our hands and knees. Bring your knees directly underneath your hips and your shins are parallel to one another. Your hands should be right underneath your shoulders. All your fingers are spread wide on the ground. Start out with a flat back looking down towards the ground. On an inhale, tuck your toes underneath, flexing your feet, and then arch your back. Spread your shoulders wide, looking up and forward for cow pose. Untuck your toes and curve your spine, starting from your tailbone, reaching your upper back all the way up in a curve for cat pose, looking back towards your thighs. On your next inhale, come back to your cow, tucking your toes once again, gently arching your back as much as you can. Spread your shoulders wide apart, your collarbones wide, and then untuck your toes. Take a deep exhale through your nose. Curve your spine in the opposite way. Look towards your thighs. Inhale, tuck your toes, arch your back. Cow pose. Exhale, untuck your toes, curve in the opposite direction for cat pose. One more round of this. Inhale, tuck your toes, arch your back, spread your collarbones wide. Exhale, untuck your toes. Curve your spine in the opposite way. Look towards your thighs for cat pose. From here, come back to a flat back briefly. Tuck your toes so your feet are flexed, the bottoms of your feet. Might be getting a little stretch here as well. And then walk your hands forward and slide them forward as you bring your forehead to the ground. We're going to stretch here for a moment. Open your chest towards the floor. Open your armpits towards the ground. Feeling a stretch in your upper back, your chest, under the armpits as well. Wherever you are in this stretch, Breathe for a moment. Slowly bring yourself back up onto your hands and your knees. And from here, we're going to press into the ground with our hands and our feet, straightening our legs for a downward facing dog. In your first downward dog, add some movement. So alternate bending and straightening your legs. Each time you straighten your leg, gently press the heel down towards the floor, getting a deep stretch in your calf muscle maybe, if you're not already very flexible in that area. I'm not, so I feel the stretch in my calf. And just breathe as you're adding some movement. And slowly come to stillness in your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose and release it out. On your next inhale, raise your heels all the way up and bend your knees. Look forward, take as many steps as you need to come up to a half forward fold. So your back is straight, you're looking up and you're at the top of your yoga mat. Take an exhale, fold back down. On your next inhale, come all the way up to standing with a straight spine. Reach your arms all the way up. Look towards your hands, palms are facing each other. Feel length in the sides of your body reaching up. 
Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Feel yourself standing up tall. You're spreading your collarbones wide apart. Soften your front ribs in. From here, inhale, rotate your upper arms around, turning your palms, and then raise your arms all the way up once again. We're going to warm up a little bit with some sun breaths. So on an exhale, fold your torso over your legs. Bring your hands to the floor if they don't reach the floor. Bend your knees. You can bend them any amount that you need to. On your next inhale, look up halfway. If this is difficult for you, you can bring your hands to your shins to get more length in your spine. And on an exhale, fold back down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. With a straight spine, reach your arms up once again. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, rotate your upper arms around and raise them up. Exhale, fold down. Hands to the floor, bend your knees if needed, relax your head over. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach your arms up, look towards your hands. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. One more time with a sun breath. Inhale, rotate your arms and reach them up. Exhale, fold your torso over, hands to the floor. Relax your head over completely. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing once again. Reach your arms up. And exhale, release your hands down by your side, standing up tall. Inhale, rotate your upper arms around once again. Reach them up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, looking up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms flat onto the floor. Step back one foot at a time into a plank pose. And from here, lower your knees down onto the floor. Untuck your toes and lower your whole body down, coming onto your belly. Bring your forehead to the ground. Bring your palms flat right next to your ribs, elbows pointing up. Inhale, lift your head off the ground, raising your shoulders. The tops of the feet remain on the floor and you're using your upper back muscles to help you. Exhale, fold back down, bring your head to the floor. Inhale once more, low cobra, lifting your shoulders, lifting your head, looking forward. Test your hands, you're using your back muscles and not your arms. And exhale, bring your head down. Last time, inhale, lift your head and your shoulders. Hold for a breath. And on your next exhale, come back down. Tuck your toes, press into the ground. You can come through hands and knees and straighten your legs into a downward facing dog. Hold here, breathe deeply. Inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees. Look forward, take as many steps as you need to a half forward fold at the top of your yoga mat. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing with a straight spine. Reach your arms up, looking up towards your hands. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, rotate your upper arms around and raise them up once again. Exhale, fold over. You can bend your knees if needed. Bring your hands to the floor. Relax your head completely. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms flat onto the floor. Step back one foot at a time into a plank pose once again. 
And from here, drop your knees, untuck your toes, and gently lower your body down onto your belly. Bring your hands flat onto the ground right next to your ribs, elbows pointing up. Inhale, lift your head, gently coming to a low cobra. Exhale, bring your head back down. Inhale, lift your head, raise your shoulders using your upper back muscles to hold you up in this low arch. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, one more time. Looking forward, the tops of your feet remain on the floor. And exhale, bring your head down. Tuck your toes, make your way through hands and knees if needed. Straighten your legs into downward facing dog. Hold here, breathe deeply. Inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, look forward, take as many steps as you need to the top of your yoga mat, looking forward, straightening your spine. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach your arms up. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, reach your arms up one more time, holding on to your right wrist with your left hand. Straighten your arms and reach up and over to the left, stretching your right side body. Exhale, come back up, switch sides. Find length through your body before you fold over to the right. Stretching the left side of your body, lengthening your whole left side. Release your wrist, come back up to standing. Release your hands down by your sides. And from here, clasp your hands together behind the small of your back. Straighten your arms and open your chest up towards the ceiling. Spreading your shoulders wide apart. Looking up. And exhale, release your hands from the clasp. Release your body from the arch, standing up tall. And we'll come to a seat on the ground. From here, straighten your legs out in front of you. Bend your right leg and cross it over the left. Feel free to keep the left leg straight, or if you're able to, bend the left leg in, bringing the left heel towards the right glute. Be sure that if you do so, that both sits bones remain even on the floor. When you find your pose, inhale, lengthen your spine and wrap your left arm around your right leg. Bring your right arm behind you. Inhale once more and find length through your whole spine. Exhale, twist all the way around to the right, looking as far behind you as you can. Remain even on both sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis here. Using your arms, to help you twist with each exhale that you take, you can twist a little bit deeper without being too forceful with your body. Remain here for a few more deep breaths. Slowly unwind, coming back to the center, and we'll switch sides. Uncross your legs. You can start out by straightening your legs out in front of you. Bend your left leg and cross it over the right, keeping the knee pointed up. As we did on the other side, feel free to keep the right leg straight, or if you're able to, bend the right leg, bringing the right heel towards your left hip. Just be sure that both sits bones are even on the floor. 
Inhale, lengthen and wrap your right arm around your left leg. Bring your left arm behind you. On another inhale, find even more length through your spine. And on an exhale, twist to the left, looking as far behind you as you can. Keeping both sits bones even on the floor as you're twisting, using your breath to help you twist. slowly unwind from your twist and you can uncross your legs. Cross your shins, flex your feet underneath your knees once more. Bring your hands to your legs, sit up tall and close your eyes. Take one deep breath in through your nose and a deep breath out. Take a moment of gratitude for yourself or taking the time out of your morning to practice yoga. And just say thank you to you. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe for two free yoga classes every single week. For even more yoga from me, helpful yoga resources, tips, and advice, free and premium yoga offerings, visit my website, kriskayoga.com. And you can follow me over on Instagram as well at Kriska Yoga. I post yoga poses on a daily basis, motivation, healthy living, behind the scenes of this channel and of my daily life. So head on over to Instagram at Kriska Yoga and follow me over there as well. Thank you so much. See you next time. Are you a yoga beginner? Do you want to build a solid foundation for your yoga practice? Do you want to learn an effective way to add more yoga into your daily life? If so, you can learn all of this and more with my Yoga Starter Kit program. This program is your very own yoga toolkit that will help you understand yoga at a deeper level and achieve so much more out of your yoga practice. So be sure to visit kriskayoga.com slash yoga starter kit to learn more.